Hey, welcome back to Everyday Dishes. I'm Cheryl Najafi. And you know, I'm all about easy, dependable, just get in the kitchen recipes. I'm super excited to share with you today my favorite recipe in the whole wide world, which is mac and cheese. This is a classic recipe, but so worth making it from scratch. The first thing you wanna do is add two tablespoons of butter to a cold pan. I've actually got some that's melting right now, and that's gonna create the oil that I need to toast my flour. And then I put two tablespoons of flour. And you just wanna make sure that you cook the flour because there's nothing that tastes more pasty than a sauce base that hasn't toasted the flour. I'm gonna quickly add my spices. Now spices can burn too. So I have mustard, paprika, and salt. Okay, and this is gonna be really quick too. Now if you're nervous about burning the spices, you can actually add them to the milk but um, spices open up when they're in fat. So that's why I'm adding them to the butter. I'm going to now add my milk. So I'm gonna use a whisk and then just make certain those spices get nice and blended. And now I'm going to bring the heat up and bring this mixture to a boil. Okay, so it's starting to boil all the way around the pan and what I'm waiting for is that center to erupt, and then a little bit of that skin starting to form on top. What you're looking for is for the sauce to come together. So when you make a swipe, it actually doesn't run into each other. Mm, it's nice and done. Okay, now the last step for making this creamy, yummy, decadent skillet mac and cheese is to use cheese that you've grated at home. If you buy the stuff that's already grated in the store, it will get grainy on you. So I like to do this at a handful at a time and it makes it even creamier. And as soon as that handful melts, then you add another. Now don't get me wrong, I use that bag cheese all the time. It's great for casseroles, but for the creamy macaroni and cheese, you wanna grate your own. But get creative with your cheeses. You could add Monterey Jack, um, Gruyere for a nice nutty taste, even Spicy Jack, that would be really yummy. You wanna make certain that you add al dente pasta, and that's typically about two minutes less than what the box says is done. You fold your macaroni into this yummy cheese. Look at this, oh my gosh, it's so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of milk right now because I want this to be like more like this consistency. So because my pasta was sitting out and got dry, it needs the extra moisture. There we go. This is the consistency I like. Make it the consistency you like. Mm -mm -mm. And this, my friends, is my favorite dish in the whole wide world. For more great recipe ideas, I'll see you at everydaydishes.com. Make sure you just subscribe to my channel, like this if you love it, and comment below. Remember, just get in the kitchen.